Cider Gumbo, A Spicy Hot Tale by Candace Fleming. Pictures by Sally Ann Lambert. Let me tell you about Monsieur Gator. Monsieur Gator, he lives down in the bayou. Oh, yes, he do. He lives on the edge of the swamp, uh huh. He has big claws, big teeth, and a big appetite for sure. But Monsieur Gator, he has a big problem, too. You see, Monsieur Gator is getting old. He is growing gray. He is moving so, so slow. Ho! Oh, I tell you, that Gator moves slower than the sawgrass grows. He moves slower than a snail with sore feet. He moves so slow, he cannot catch himself a taste of possum, or a bite of otter, or a whiff of a striped-tailed skunk. And oh, ho, oh, them critters sure know it. They sass Monsieur Gator. They tease Monsieur Gator. They pester Monsieur Gator, something fierce. They smarty pants chant, Try, try, as fast as you can. You can't cuss us, cause you're an old man. Poor Monsieur Gator. At every meal, he wipes away his tears and moans, Vegetables again. One morning, Monsieur Gator eats his thin breakfast of leaves, moss, and roots. Mademoiselle Possum comes, tail hanging from her tree. Yoo-hoo, Monsieur Gator, she calls as she swings back and forth, just out of reach. Am I looking tasty? Am I looking good? Monsieur Gator he claps tight his jaws and doesn't say a word. So. Monsieur Otter comes fur shaking from the water to join in making fun. Oh, I'm so scared, he mocks. Please don't eat me. And he sticks his paw in his ears, sticks his tongue out of his mouth and goes, nya, nya, poop, poop. Monsieur Gator, he grinds hard his teeth and still doesn't say a word. So, Madame Skunk comes sashing from her log. She wiggles her striped fanny puff puffs of perfume and sap in a sugar cane voice. Do I smell like a lunch? Then all three fall on their backs, kick up their feet, hold in their bellies, and laugh till they cry. <laughs> and Monsieur Gator, he gets hot. Red hot. Hotter than... Gumbo! I'm gonna cook up some gumbo just like Mama used to make. He cries. So, Monsieur Gator, he builds up a fire. He sets a big pot over the flames. He calls out to them slap laughing critters, Who's gonna fill this pot with water so I can cook up some gumbo? I ain't, snickers Madame Possum. I ain't, snickers Monsieur Otter. I ain't, snickers Madame Skunk. Then I'll be doing it myself, says Monsieur Gator. The water goes into the pot. Pretty soon the water is bubbling hot and the steam is rising high. Whew, but them critters ain't never seen anything like it. They stop their guffawing. They take a step toward the pot. Mm hmm, says Monsieur Gator. Almost like Maman used to make. All this gumbo needs now is some claw-pinching fish. Who's gonna catch the crawdads? I ain't, smirks Mademoiselle Possum. 
I ain't, smirks Monsieur Otter. I ain't, smirks Madame Skunk. Then I'll be doing it myself, says Monsieur Gator. Huck, pill, drop. Them crawdads go into the pot. Well, it doesn't take long for that sweet smell of crawdads to come up and tweak them critter's snout. They step closer to the pot. Mmm, says Monsieur Gator. Almost like Maman used to make. All this gumbo needs now is some health-building greens. Who's gonna pick the okra? I ain't, snorts Mademoiselle Possum. I ain't. Snorts Monsieur Otter. I ain't, snorts Madame Skunk. Then I'll be doing it myself, says Monsieur Gator. Pluck, slice, pop. That okra goes into the pot. The next thing you know, the smell of that tangy okra and sweet crawdads sets them critters lips smacking. They creep a little closer to the pot. Mmm, says Monsieur Gator. Almost like Mamma needs to make. All this gumbo needs now is some tongue flaming flavoring. Who's gonna grind the spices? I ain't, sniffs Mademoiselle Parson. I ain't, sniffs Monsieur Arthur. I ain't, sniffs Madame Skunk. Then I'll be doing it myself, says Monsieur Gator. Let's dice chop. Them spices go into the pot. And you guessed it. The smell of sharp spices, tangy okra, and sweet crawdads get them critters belly grumbling. <laughs> they step even closer to the pot. Mmm. -hmm. Says Monsieur Gator. Almost like Memo used to make. All this gumbo needs now is some long grain fluff. Who's gonna add the rice? I ain't, snapped Mademoiselle Possum. I ain't, snaps Monsieur Otter. I ain't, snapped Madame Skunk. Then I'll be doing it myself, says Monsieur Gator. Poor Skunk. That rice goes into the pot. <laughs> well, I tell you, there's nothing like the smell of white rice Sharp spices, tangy okra, and sweet crawdads. That savorous aroma of it all drives them critters so wild they rush right to the edge of the pot. Mmm, -hmm, says Monsieur Gator, almost like Mamma used to make. All this gumbo needs now is some hungry folks. Who's gonna help? Eat it! Me! Me! cries Mademoiselle Possum. Me! Me! cries Monsieur Otter. Me! Me! cries Madame Skunk. <laughs> says Monsieur Gator. I filled the pot and I caught the crawdads. I picked the okra and ground up the spices. I even added the rice. So now I'm going to eat this gumbo all by myself. And he pulls out a big, big spoon and he dips it deep, deep into that gumbo. Just one taste, begs Mademoiselle Possum. One taste, please, begs Monsieur Otter. One taste and we won't tease you no more, promises Madame Skunk. One taste, asks Monsieur Gator. Is that all? Yes, 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 cry the critters. Well, I suppose, says Monsieur Gator. Slip, slip, plop! Them animals go into the pot, and Monsieur Gator, he sniffs that delicious smelling stuff. Mmm, -mm, he says. Now this is gumbo, just like Mamma used to make. Mmm. -mm. 
the end. To find Gator Gumbo and other books by Candace Fleming, visit your local library.